The Yamhill Carlton district is part of the larger Willamette Valley where, where we know it's been demonstrated to be a great place to grow Pinot Noir. And, and uh, the nuances of this area, as distinct from, say, the Eola Hills or the Red Hills, are that the wines have sort of more spice and exotic qualities to them. Having tried my hand at many different types of grapes, I think that Pinot Noir is one of the more challenging. I think it's one of the more, I find it more creative because it responds so much to what you do. The beginning of the attraction was just the quality of the fruit. In terms of importance, I would say it's the soil and then the climate. But those are the, the two things that define this, the terroir of this AVA. The people that started here and the people that choose to come here really embrace the ethos of the area. To me, that's uh, you know, working really hard to make great quality wine, but also focusing on uh, the community and, uh, and supporting the community. And uh, those are two things that, that uh, I'm really proud about. It's always interesting to put the words to what makes a place unique. You know, I stuck my stake in the ground right here because for me, it resonates for the qualities that are important to me in, in Pinot Noir, and that's wines that will be perfumed and elegant and yet age-worthy. I think that this place on earth has the wherewithal to make wines consistently of that caliber and quality. I felt that this was exactly the quality of Pinot Noir that I hoped to, to achieve and to make. Um, and so, and, and after being here, and, and then finding out what a great community it is, it was only reinforcing. So it's a tremendous place to, to work and play. We being this whole AVA that the whole wine drinking world seems to be paying attention to. Well, Yamhill and Carlton, the communities, well, they're two towns, so they're just three miles from each other. They've been tied to the hip, essentially, since the 1850s. First of all, Carlton's only 1,800 people, and Yamhill's less than 1,000. And still, we can do things such as put on Walk in the Park, which is a 12-acre outdoor celebration, and we can bring 5,000 people to town. Welcome, everybody. Hot like the music. Come and hold your key. Come and hold your key. Hot the music. It's a little town that has developed a pretty nice little infrastructure. There are now places to stay in Carleton. There are good places to eat in Carleton. You can spend the day in Carleton. We have this great site that has this beautiful drained soil and this great alignment to the sun and these great qualities to make good wine. It also has a great natural beauty. It's surrounded by a diverse array of farm and forest habitat and it's beautiful in that sense. And I love the notion that the place that you do grow your wine is also a beautiful place because it's sort of like inspiring to you. You know, wine is not a widget, it's an aesthetic creation. So it is about giving pleasure and, and I like being inspired by the trees and the landscape around me as well. wine region in general, when we first came out here, was really the biggest draw for us to be here in Oregon. Uh, and the proximity of Portland to Willamette Valley or to Carleton and Yamhill in general, it sits in our backyard. It's one of my favorite places to go bike riding and ponder amongst the vineyards on the food I'm going to create when I come back home. I think what distinguishes the wines of the Yamhill Carleton AVA is the ripeness of the wines. There's a more blue and black fruit character than red fruit character. There's an open feel to the wines. Other areas produce wines that are more tightly structured, perhaps. There's a welcoming quality about all of the wines that I like from the Yamhill Carlton AVA. To me, it's quintessential Pinot Noir that uh, is redolent of blackberries and, and, and raspberries and, and clove and tobacco and coffee. And, and uh, I mean, all those are like incredibly food friendly flavors that I really use. There's an abundance of spice and floral qualities that is not as common in areas around us. And we have violets 
you know, some really pretty high notes of floral qualities, and really, and it's just really beautiful. The Yamaha Carlton AVA just brings that real dark fruit flavor and concentration of fruit that to me is quintessential Oregon Pinot Noir. It's captivating in its aroma. It first grabs you right away and you, there's mystery in it uh, because there's more than simple, simple fruit. And, uh, and in texturally, it's like no other wine. It has silk and generosity, and ultimately good, the best wines have a kind of persistence that will linger for a good long time. Well, one of the great attractions of this area is that it's owner-operated. And so when people visit, they are often very surprised that they're visiting me. Uh, but that's, that's common. And it's common with all of my compatriots around here. It's a very neat experience for folks to come here and to hear the stories from the people who created these businesses. Pino from the AVA of Yamhill and Carlton, people are gonna start comparing to, I would say, that's the most amazing thing, the evolution that has transpired in the past 10 years is its own grape, it's its own flavor profile. There's nothing that I would compare it to. There's no other place in the world that will make Burgundy, but Burgundy can't make a Yamhill Carlton wine either. So what's magical about Pinot Noir is that it expresses the place. And if the place has something to say, that will be captured in the bottle.